Everybody, it's Operation Destroy, and as you can see, my base just got raided. That is okay. Um, oh, oh, you know what? I actually lost my prototype uh, weapons here. Um, they're gone. They've expired. And today, what do you know? Gearheart is in town, and I can collect some more and then make some new prototype defenses. But first, you guys, speaking of Gearheart, um, Last week, my kids were making gingerbread houses, and I took upon the notion and idea of let's create a Boom Beach iconic gingerbread uh, creation. Um, now, gingerbread, as you may know it, unless you cook it, you can't buy it in sheets. You can't. Maybe you can. I just didn't look good enough, I guess. But. I didn't use gingerbread, although I called the gingerbread house. I used graham crackers, because they come in like little sheets, and you can kind of break them and do what have you with them, but. So I used it, call it a graham cracker house, whatever you want, but it's still edible food. You can still eat it just as you can eat gingerbread, so. And I figured, you know what? Gingerbread, graham crackers, I mean, they're both a pastry. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show you a few images of the uh, Miss Gearheart War Factory I uh, created. Um, first image is the actual a piece of cardboard with just some white paper all over it because uh, I want it to be obviously in the snow, right? Um, next image, you see me erecting the uh, building with the graham crackers. I'm using the uh, gingerbread glue or the actual, uh, what do you call it? That that frosting that they use as the glue. And I'm putting it together, there are the two doors. Um, oh, there's a boom mine, it is a lifesaver. Um, didn't get too crazy with those, but it, it speaks for itself, it is a boom mine. Um, there it is, second story. Um, the second story where the saddle, or the actual um, radar will sit on, but there it is coming together. And finally, I'm starting to, uh, this was actually um, frosting that I used some red food coloring. And actually the red food coloring, it's not a red if you look at it on Gearheart. It's more of a burgundy. So I tried to make it as burgundy as possible and it's not really, but it's the best I could do. So there is, and it was tough you guys, that was tough to, 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 to paint because you know, I would be hitting the red, and it'd be getting into white, and it was mixing, and it just, it, it was tough. I will, I will tell you that. Um, and there, as far as that pipe, obviously that's not the edible thing to eat, because it, uh, you can't eat that unless you want to get sick. But that is actually from a, um, I want to say, like, it had M&Ms in it, one of those little tubes. That had, I just cut it, and I, I painted it, like, the, the acrylic gray, as you see it. Just to kind of, cause I, I, you know, I, I don't know, just made it look good and it actually fit to scale for the Gearheart factory. So I threw that on there and I painted the little caution, you know, the decal around the uh, conveyor belt and the door on the left side. And um, yeah, and then finally when it was all said and done, there it is, the, um, the little, uh, uh, so there's some clay in it. All the piping you see there is clay. I molded clay and then painted it. So that's not edible, you guys. And the satellite, I mean the radar up there, is clay molded into like a bowl. And then those are toothpicks um, as the actual prongs in the radar. And then I think I just put a little ball of clay on top of that and painted it red <laughs> for the, the beam. But that's it, you guys. That's the Gearheart War Factory with the boom mines. It looks like an easy takedown. There's no defenses around to stop you. But speaking of the Gearheart War Factory, gingerbread, you know, whatever you want to call it, I have it posted on Boom Beach's fan art. Um, if you guys wouldn't mind, would you head over there? I will leave a link in the information bar below. Um, that way, you just got to go there, look at it, and do me the biggest favor and just click the like button. Let's see if I can get this above the rest, you guys. It did take me like six hours to do. I will, I'm kidding you, I'm not kidding you guys. It took me like six hours to do this. 
and I would so appreciate the support, the love and support from you guys, as you already give with the YouTube, um, and if you could just click that link, find my, my gingerbread war factory, and give it a nice like, and boom, I would so appreciate it. So enough of that you guys let's jump into the actual i gotta reload my game because i was unaware and inactive but please do that for me and i would so appreciate that ginger i mean gearheart would be proud as well so today i'm going in to gearheart with um all zookas i have heavies here because i was attacking earlier player bases with the hookah strategy so let's instant them and I had a boost going. Um, I was played the op, my op in the task force, and I boosted to take out a base. And I have only 57 minutes left, so we need to jump on this 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 game here and get the job done. So let's jump in and check out Gearheart. Where is that woman? There she is. Look at her. Look at that look of determination to take me out. Let's hope it's not that way. So, first and foremost, I like to scout these bases because they change up every week and I want to see my strategy. I kind of saw a few videos already on Gearheart and uh, yeah, the Zooka are the way to go here to fat to kill this base fast and there's a few different things you need to do beforehand. You notice she has a shield generator working her, working and protecting her HQ. So we need to take out these shield generators to make it a little easy to eliminate that HQ. So normally I think one time, I think in my, one of my videos in the past, I ran with warriors and I failed to annihilate these um, shield generators. So now I'm gonna bring up the Zookas and see if they can do it. Obviously they can spray these things quick with their, their damage and they're boosted at that. So they should handle those just fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out those shield generators and then next attack I'm gonna go straight for the HQ and for the kill. I'm hoping I can take her out in two attacks. Um, as far as the shocking is concerned over here, that laser beam needs to be shocked you guys because he will melt like 30 Zookas in one beam, even more possibly if they're all grouped together. And then sure enough, the uh, shock launcher up here, the rocket launcher, and the uh, shock blaster. Who are, I believe one shot can get them all. That would be epic. Um, you have to be right on target. I'm thinking right, at, right a little underneath the boom cannon there would get them all. That would work. So that's one, two shocks. And do we have any rockets that could reach? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, just a shock here on the laser, and then one beautiful shock here on the boom cannon to get those defenses. And that's pretty much it. So it's not too bad, and there's really cool. The deployment on the beach doesn't look too bad this time. There's no laser beams here to fry your zookas if you miss them, and if you don't smoke them right. So there's a little bit more uh, grace there this time around. So you guys, let's me quit talking and let's get attacking. All right, Op Destroy, let's do this. So I'm gonna hit the attack button right now. Um, I gotta be careful playing my Zookas on this beach here because that rocket launcher would love to devour them. So first and foremost, I'm going to throw a barrage right in the center of those shock blasters and hopefully let's just, I mean normally I'm like, I didn't really need to do this because they don't stand right at the shock blasters, only this is for warriors. So I'm, I don't know why I did that. What a waste of GBE, but it's okay. Let's work it. So I'm gonna rhyme with you. I'm gonna smoke here, pre-smoke this uh, this quadrant here, and let my zookas out in this corner here. And we're gonna flare them right to this box here. And I'm gonna smoke, smoke. So that way I got so much GBE, I can I can afford it. And when they all huddle together, I'm gonna flare them right to the point of execution. And we begin our smoky path here. They're running nice and beautiful in the smoke. And then um, I'm gonna actually throw two smokes there, so in case they spread, because there are there are areas where they're gonna hit. And um, I'm gonna actually flare the shock blaster and begin my shock treatment on these mortars, the machine gun, the uh, rocket launcher, and the shock launcher. And uh, well, I, and then they're gonna just blast it all. I actually need to flare that uh, shield generator because they're gonna um, not get it if I don't. And they did. And I got some critters out and now I'm gonna let them just die out now because they're pretty much good for nothing else right now. They did their job and got those shock blast those shield generators. I don't know why I said maybe I said shock blasters, but we got the shield generators taken out 
and that was the plan of attack on attack one. There she is, flaunting and taunting. And let's refill those precious Zookas once again. And this time around, we're gonna just jump right into Gearheart part two here, attack number two. And what we're gonna do is just do the smoky Zooka run here. So I'm gonna flare my Zookas right to that location and just drop them, drop them, drop two, drop another smoke, drop two more, drop another smoke, and they should all get right there into the smoke. And then once they get there, I'm gonna flare them to that location. And now I gotta be careful because that laser beam is out to kill. And I'm gonna drop three smokes there to protect them at all costs. And then now we just, uh, we're gonna flare that HQ and get ready for shock treatment here. So shock the lasers and I'm gonna shock that boom cannon to get those defenses and I did get them. And let's throw some critters out here and see if we can take Gearheart in one, this attack here. I throw another shock on the lasers and boom, there we go. Not too many casualties, you guys, but there, Gearheart is down in two. Um, again, I was fully boosted here because of my operation attack, so it made it just a little bit easier. But there she is, there she goes, there she blows. I mean, I'm not trying to be weird, but there she goes. And um, yes, 26 precious Zookas have been lost. And I love the rewards that she gave me because I need those prototype modules. Yes, Suri, look at my inventory. I needed those complex gears, absolutely. I have plethora of field capacitors, which doesn't require much on each of these prototype defenses. So what I'm gonna do since mine ran out, I'm gonna create my shock blaster, instant that bad boy, and throw him up here where he was before I think he was maybe right there, plant him and go create my uh, damage amplifier three. Um, as you can see, my complex gears are being used quickly. So I need to look, I only have three left now. So I need to work on getting those. And my amplifier, I think right there, is that gonna, no, I need to move this over just a little bit more to get all these defenses. So let me back the sh shock blaster up a little bit, move this over. All boom cannons should be glowing, and they are. I got a rocket launcher glowing, flamethrower, and my shock blaster is glowing. And look at that awesome damage per second. Bam, I love it. And yeah, um, so there we go. That's set for another six days. You guys, that is Gearheart for today. I don't want to make this video super long, but stay tuned for my next video, you guys. I'm going to have a, I had a challenge from a subscriber where he, um, wants me to use hookah, you know, two boats of heavies or whoever, just a hookah strategy and take out as many NPC bases as I can without reloading my troops. That should be a fun one. I'm looking, I, I actually saved up on my end. I think I have like 15 or 17 NPC bases on my map right now. I've been letting them brew and letting them cook on my map. That way I can actually run this challenge. I don't think I can take them all out in one loaded troop, but you never know. I'm gonna try my best and see how far I can get without loading and reloading my troops, okay? So, you guys, again, thank you so much for your support on the YouTube channel, I really appreciate it. And I would love if you guys would click the link in the information bar below to go to my Gingerbread War Factory on the Boom Beach fan art page and give it a like and some love. I really want to step it up and and be the number one there because like I said, man, Gearheart's awesome and it just, it was fun and a pleasure making that. And if you guys feel the same, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. So that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. I promise that. Bye-bye.